What is up guys, it's your boy Rick Kakis, and today we have a brand new Zur inventory review for the weekend of October 4th to the 7th, and so let's get started. This is the last Zur before episode Revenant. Now Zur is going to be located in the same place in the tower he always is since his update within the final shape. All right, let's take a look at what he has. First of all, for the exotics, well, we have uh, the Prospector Catalyst. Guys, um, you might want to get this now. Now, it says increase reserves right now, but there's going to be a huge rework and potential buff for Prospector that was just announced yesterday. Now, the Catalyst will be changed to only improve reload, but the Prospector itself might be absolutely cracked next season because of this buff slash rework. So, just thought I would mention that. Might be a good idea to pick it up if you don't have it. After that, we have the Traveler's Chosen Catalyst. Actually, a pretty powerful Catalyst. Really does improve the tra Traveler's Chosen. Then we've got uh, the Frosties right here. And uh, 66, not really spiky at all. No, thank you. 63, way too much mobility on the insurmountable skull fort. No, thank you. Then we got the chromatic fire. Whoa, 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 whoa. 71? Uh, I, have we ever even seen a 71? We've seen 70s a couple of times. I genuinely cannot remember if there has ever been a 71 being sold at Zer before. I think that is the highest amount like ever you can get 71 i don't think you can go above 71 maybe i'm wrong but like that's how rare the numbers are we're talking about guys yes it does have a lot of mobility but it also has a crap ton of discipline this really could be a decent pickup like just because you have a, a darn 71 exotic like your friends are gonna be like what the heck so definitely consider picking up this chromatic fire after that no exotic class items this weekend, instead, we do have exotic ciphers being sold. Remember, you probably do want to stock up on these for the new season anyways. After that, we have uh, the helmet, one of the new uh, armor set helmets that was introduced for the seasonal activities being sold here as well. 68, too much mobility. Now, this is going to be interesting. I think there's going to be a different one being sold uh, for every single different class. So I'm going to check this on uh, the other characters and just want to check what's for sale here. Okay. Adept Nightfall Ciphers are for sale. This is always kind of a big deal. Uh, you get these from Grandmaster Nightfalls, or you can just buy them from Xur. So this will absolutely help you get enough Nightfall ci Ciphers to afford to buy one of the Adept Nightfall weapons from Zavala. So, that's pretty cool. Moving on from there to the weapons. Well, speaking of the Prospector... It's being sold directly. So, hey, again, if you don't have this thing, it's getting a massive buff slash rework next season. Might be a great idea to buy it. After that, Graviton Lance, literally goaded, uh, but it's very easy to get. So, if for some reason you don't have it, buy it. Huckleberry is also getting some massive buffs next season, guys. Um... So what they're doing is that instead of the Catalyst reloading the Meg on kill, it's going to do that automatically, and the Catalyst will add Kinetic Tremors to this weapon, which is pretty sick. So after that, we have a Hawkmoon with Snapshot Sights. Not super excited about this. No, thank you. All right, now as for the weapons here, Enigma's Draw with Zen Swash. No, thank you. Uh, Friction Fire, Killing Wind Sideways. Eh. Then we have a Lead from Gold Trench Barrel, Seventh Seraph. Eh, I mean, like, honestly, this was a pretty good roll when it can make war mine cells, but nowadays it's just not what you want. Uh, fourth times Eye of the Storm, Tarnished Metal, no thank you. Well, we do actually have a Relentless Whirlwind uh, Steel Sybil right here. Guys, like, I mean, that's an incredible roll. We even have... Let's see, we do have Honed Edge to increase the damage. So, if you don't have a Relentless Whirlwind uh, Blade Sword, if you're a new player, 100% this is worth buying this is like the best damage per combo possible for swords with some exceptions now with new swords coming out but it's the old reliable it's going to be fantastic after that we have a field prep rampage behringer's memory well certainly field prep plus like this is very good generally you want auto loading holster in this spot here but still not a terrible uh, rapid fire frame uh, heavy gl especially with gls being featured next season we have a relentless counter attack crown spitter eh Relentless is great, but counterattack, not really. And then as for the armor, let's check the rarity of the Holdfast set. So, using Light.gg, this set was introduced in Season 11, and it's a very common set, with around 55% of Guardians having access to this very helmet. Now, let's check uh, the actual stats here. For the Gauntlet, 64 Resilient Spike, it's alright. 
Uh, 63, big intellect spike. No, thank you. Then we've got 64, mobility and intellect. Absolutely not. And then 65, resilience followed by intellect mid at best. All right, let's go and check the warlock. All right, for the warlock, first of all, we have uh, this helmet here, 66, no mobility or strength. Everything else has a bit of a spike. You know, it's, it's all right, it's all right. Now, as for uh, the weaponry, we have the Attorney's Edge being the featured sword. Tireless Blade counterattack is not that great. And then for the armor here, so 64 with the gauntlets, huge mobility spike. Eh. Then we got 66, resilience and discipline. This, this is actually a great chess piece right here. Uh, definitely consider picking this up. After that, we've got 66, huge strength, and then, so, eh, not, I'm not that thrilled by it. And then 65 in the boots, intellect, strength, eh, again, not that thrilled. All right, let's check the hunter. All right, for the hunter, first of all, we got the uh, different helmet here. 61, not spiky at all, no, thank you. Now, for the weaponry, a relentless strikes on guard. Uh, well, relentless strikes is very good. On guard, not really. You way rather have Assassin's Blade with the Quick Fang. Uh, and that was being sold, I think, last weekend with uh, Assassin's Blade. So, yeah, not really too insane there. After that, guys, for the armor, 64. Okay, finally a class that wants a lot of mobility. So, mobility is great, but intellect is really not what you want, unfortunately. So, eh. Then we've got uh, 66, a big mobility spike here as well. And then again, followed up by intellect, man. Uh, after that, we have 65 mobility and strength. You don't really want strength too much. And then, you know, well, speaking of which, you have a ton of strength right there. Very unfortunate for the hunter. Uh, definitely, guys, highlight this week. Absolutely insane. 71 stat just piece. Ridiculous. As well as being able to pick up uh, the prospector kind of catalyst and the weapon before it gets buffed. Oh, and the Adept Nightfall Cypher is actually a pretty decent weekend, despite the exotic class items not being sold. Guys, that is it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoy the video and as always, have a good day.